Hi guys, Steve here from My Blog Review. I'm going to show you today how to create a clone of your WordPress blog. Uh, first step is to log in to the admin panel and disable all plugins. Okay, here we are in the admin panel for My Blog Review. Just click on Install Plugins. Put the check in the top and deactivate everything. Simple as that. There we are. Okay, step two is to log into your cPanel. Uh, assuming you've got cPanel, um, some hosting companies use different products, but it's it's the administrative panel for your hosting, uh, whatever they choose to call it. Um, and what we're going to do is create a new site using Fantastico, which is going to be the demo site. Click on WordPress. This shows the installation that's already there. Don't touch that. Click New Installation. And we'll put it in subdirectory called demo. Yeah, install. Finish installation. Back to WordPress. We now have the two installs. Visit the site just to make sure that it is there. Yes, yeah, here we are. My blog review demo and a very nice picture. OK, step three, we want File Manager. Click on Demo. WP Contents in Demo. Make certain that you're in Demo. And Delete. Public HTML Demo WP Contents. That's the Contents folder for the new site we just created. Now we go back to Public HTML. And this is the contents folder of the original site, which we now copy. We've got public HTML, which is the root, WP content. And we have to put in the path that it's being copied to, which is public HTML forward slash demo forward slash copy files. And then go back to demo. And there's the WP content copied from the original site with a whole load of plugins and everything in there. Excellent. OK, step 4. Still in cPanel. Scroll down till you find PHP My Admin. Here we are. Two databases. We want the original database. Here's everything that's loaded into it. Check all. Select export. Click custom, which gives you the option then under compression to have a zipped file. Scroll down the page to the bottom, click go. Save, save as, put it in a folder on your desktop where, you, where you're not going to lose it. There we are, database. OK, still in PHP my admin. Click the home button. And now select the second database, which is the one for the clone. Scroll down to the bottom, select check all, and this time drop. Click yes, and that empties that database. Now click import at the top. Browse to the backup that you just took a few moments ago. Which is there. Click open. 
scroll down, click go. Now I can see the progress symbol there spinning round. Don't click anything else, just leave it. It takes a few minutes. There we are, successfully loaded. All looks okay. Now then. Uh, step six is edit the options in this database. Option one, which is the URL to the site, which is incorrect. It should be demo. Scroll down to the bottom, click go to save the editing. Next one is the name. Change that to demo. Scroll down. Click go again. Third one, description. You don't really have to do this one, but why not? Test site. Go again. And then the final one is on page two. And we're looking for home. Mm. There it is. This is the URL for the home page. Go again to save it. Right, the final step log out of cPanel. Here we can see up. Oh. Just go back in there a minute and reactivate all the plugins, which I just forgot to do. There we are, empty page cache. Okay, that's the original site, back to normal. This one we now change to demo. And there we are, demo. complete working copy of the original site. In the subdirectory demo.